Regular viewers will remember that earlier in the year, we made a video discussing the yet-to-be-launched GB News, a more right-wing TV news channel launching in the UK that many were comparing to Fox. Since then, though, the channel has launched and, well, has got off to a rocky start with issues on screen and with ratings. So a bunch of you have asked us in the comments to cover this story, and be sure to add your ideas to the list by clicking the link below. Anyway, today we're going to do exactly that and discuss GB News right now. To understand the significance of GB News in the UK, you have to know a bit about Britain's media landscape. Unlike countries like the US, the UK isn't littered with partisan news channels. When it comes to 24-hour news channels, the only options are the BBC and Sky, both of which are broadly central. Even if we add in other TV news, like ITV and Channel 4, none of them skew hard one way or the other. So many were concerned at the risk of more polarisation when GB News was announced as an anti-woke channel, concerned about the foxification of British TV news. Concerns didn't last long after the channel's launch, though, with it getting off to a very difficult start. The new network had myriad technical difficulties in their opening weeks. Bring in Barry if we can, just yeah. on this point about migration, because you clearly... Oh, 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 you've got a mic. Oh, 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 well, oh this well, is not... going well, yes. Indeed. Um, well, we, 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 we're going to focus on that. There, there he is. He's been mic'd up. That's the joys <laughs> oh, of we live, love that. live television. <laughs> um, be... When did Italy last win a major tournament? I don't know. <laughs> I have a tepid take on this one. I, I don't know. Um, but, but I hope that they don't win this one, and I hope we do. <laughs> Darren, Darren can, can we win tomorrow? Can England win? Can England beat Denmark and, and, and meet Italy on Sunday? Oh, do, I think I've lost Darren Grimes. Sorry, cannot hear Darren Grimes. But anyway, back to me. Come back to me. Here we go. Let's. <laughs> and it's not just the technical side of things. On screen personalities had a difficult time too. Thank you very much, Belvinda. Happy Christmas. <laughs> Honestly. Well, Merry Christmas to you too. <laughs> no, no Carol, nothing. Hey, do you know what? If it's Christmas, then tomorrow's my birthday. Because I'm a Boxing Day baby. So, <laughs> hurrah. Isn't that amazing? Every story we've done, somehow, it's all about you. We're not just here to poke fun at GB News though, because this context is important to understand how the channel quickly gained a reputation of being chaotic and plagued with issues, rather than being known as an advocate for free speech. This chaos likely attracted viewers in the early days, but the novelty seems to have worn off fast, with viewers abandoning the channel. Even in the early days, the channel struggled to compete with their more established rivals, but recent weeks have seen viewership fall off a cliff, with the channel having no measurable audience between 1pm and 1.30 last Wednesday, and then again at 5pm, a time when the BBC had 62,000 viewers and Sky 50,000. It's not just troubling viewing figures though, the channel found itself attacking itself when presenter Gutu Hari took the knee live on air. The channel's charter states that it has respect for opinions and those expressing them, and chairman Andrew Neil stated before launch that cancel culture was insidious. It seems that their viewers disagreed though, with many boycotting the channel following Hari's Neil, something that would hurt viewership yet further. In an attempt to steady the ship, the channel announced that Hari had been taken off air in a pair of seemingly contradictory tweets, one saying that the company doesn't have a stance on taking the knee, and another saying that Hari had committed an unacceptable breach of their standards, standards that they allegedly didn't have. Director of programming John McAndrew also recently left the channel, with the Sky and Euronews veteran supposedly unhappy with management's demands to reduce local content and increase opinionated debate. To try and bring back the spark that the channel maybe once had, they announced over the weekend that Mr Brexit himself, Nigel Farage, would be getting a show on the channel, something that had been speculated before the channel even started. On Twitter, Farage made a big deal about his new show, thanking the haters for all the publicity he got. But at least according to our Twitter audience, they were more interested in us making a video on GB News than they were in actually watching it. 
Yesterday evening was Farage's inaugural show, and, well, it started in classic Faragean style, with a pint in a virtual pub. Initial reviews were mixed to poor, with The Independent highlighting the factual issues and even the right-wing Telegraph only giving the inaugural episode a three-star review. It's clearly too soon to know then if Farage is enough to pull in viewers to GB News, or if the channel has deeper issues than that. But if you want my two cents, and let's be honest you're getting them regardless, I'm not sure launching a TV channel right now is the best idea. TV is clearly struggling at the moment, and while the more right-wing demographic might be slightly more wedded to their TVs, I think it's still a weird time to get going, even if people are angry with the BBC at the moment, especially considering how little effort GB News seems to have put onto their digital side of things. Maybe I'm wrong though, and they've just announced that Mark Dolan is joining the channel's lineup, so maybe that will help. Maybe. Anyway, what do you think of GB News? Will it be a success long term? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and cast your vote in our latest Twitter poll. It's not just polls over there either. We're trialling posting brand new and exclusive content on both Twitter and Instagram, and you can check out both at TLDR News UK, or it's linked down below. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to be notified every time we release a new video. Special thanks to our Patreon backers who make videos like this one possible. And if you want to see your name at the end of videos, then you too can back us on Patreon. The link to that is in the description.